Hi, I'm Mike Wheeler, uh, Department Chair of Manufacturing Welding at College of Western Idaho, and I wanted to take a quick minute to give you a tour of our welding lab, kind of show you the machinery and the environment you're going to be working in if you decide to be a student here. So our machine tool or our welding program is set up into um, two different labs. This is our first year lab. Walk through these curtains. Uh, we have 20 welding booths. We're capped at 16 students per instructor, but this is a pretty standard welding booth. We've got a Miller Dynasty 280. This one we've got a Miller Envision. Um, there's a lot of really handy things in our welding booths. We've got compressed air in every booth, 110 outlet. Um, these are our quick connects for our gas. We mix our, all of our gas outside. So when you come in the morning, um, plug in your, your gas line at the end of the day, unhook it. Um, not a lot of setup, not a lot of takedown at the end of the day. Um, really try to maximize your time in the welding lab. Uh, we've got fume extraction in every booth. It'll probably the cleanest air you ever breathe as a welder. So we're set up into rows of four booths. Uh, there's four more in the back side. I'll jump into one of those and show you uh, some of the other welding machines we've got. This one's got an XMT, Dynasty 280. Um, we've got a this booth is a, another 280. We've got a ton of Dynasty 280s. They're great machines. Um, we've also got a lot of these Lincoln 350 MPs. Uh, what we want is to not have you be accustomed to just one type of welder. Um, out in the industry, you're going to see a lot of different things, a lot of different machines, and we want to give you exposure to all of them. Come back out into the main hallway. Instructor's toolboxes, tool room. It's our 100 ton hydraulic press we use for uh, vending weld certifications. Stomp shear for our sheet metal projects. Uh, small Ellis bandsaw. Uh, Oxyfuel track torch, Oxyfuel bottles. Uh, Marvel iron worker for cutting uh, coupons for welding projects. Over here, this is kind of our. Um, instructor demonstration area. Back in the corner we've got a submerged dark welder. Uh, we've got one of our millers set up to run uh, push bowl aluminum. Uh, we've got a Aspect 375 Lincoln TIG welder for a little bit of variety. I think it's the only non Miller TIG welder we have in the shop. Little heat treat oven. Um, that's what these long tables are for is so the instructors can show techniques with a bunch of students around so everybody can see what's going on. We've got TIG consumable storage, water tanks for cooling down your work pieces. This is where we keep all of our wire and filler. Um, we're probably going to get rid of a bunch of these open rolls. We've got a bunch of freshmen in the tool room. Um, this is either rod that doesn't need to be in an oven or uh, sealed containers of rod that does. These are rod ovens for our low hydrogen electrode, uh, eighth inch on this side. 332 and 532 on that side, uh, another quench tank. Brooms to keep the shop clean. This is our prep room. This is where we keep most of the dirty stuff. Got a Piranha tungsten grinder, a small bench grinder for tungsten. This is our new um, Ideal Arc 400 we use for air arcing. Uh, we do quite a bit of air arcing, uh, carbon arc cutting and gouging. It's a, in my experience, it's an invaluable tool for doing weld repair and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, we've got two uh, Kalamazoo belt grinders for cleaning up coupons, removing material, all that stuff. We're planning to have a third one installed by fall. And this is our little manual plasma station, hypertherm, cut table. Going to the second year lab. So second year lab is where all the cool tools are. Uh, this is our small shear. Uh, this is our CNC press brake. These are overhead cranes. We've got two of them. Uh, when this building was converted into a welding lab, uh, the students actually uh, designed and built these and they were put into place. So this is our CNC plasma table. Got a mill, and a lathe. We don't do a ton of machine tool work, but I think it is a uh, a valuable tool in the toolbox for a welder and a fabricator. Got our 
box and pan brake, press brake. Um, we've got two Pipeworks machines for doing RMD roots on pipe. Dynasty 350, the best running machine in the shop. More welders. So the first year, I talked about this in another video, um, the first year of our program is probably 80% welding, 20% fitting and fabrication. The second year is probably 50-50. So uh, in the first year, you get a weekly project. Um, and as soon as you get it done, you move on to the next one. If you get it done Wednesday, they're all due Friday. If you get it done Wednesday, we'll just move you on to the next one. Second year lab, the projects are bigger. Um, they, can, they require more planning, um, more investment up front to produce a better, better quality product. Uh, pipe beveler, flame pipe beveler, uh, slip rolls for rolling cylinders out of sheet metal, uh, pyramid roll for rolling larger diameter radiuses on pipe and tubing. Hydraulic tubing bender, tubing notcher, portable welder for when you need to work outside. Another iron worker, uh, really nice drill press and a fairly new uh, Marvel um, Series 8 Mark II uh, that we use for pretty much cutting up anything of size we need cut. This part of the second year lab over here is just extra workspace. Um, we've got more welders, more booths. We've got this dinosaur of a Lincoln uh, for running 332nd flux core. It's a beast. This is our the backside of our new shear. It's a 10 foot quarter inch shear. Ignore the Jeep. I parked inside because I don't have a bike lock today. Um, Shear is six months old. Uh, great tool, you'll see them in every, every shop. And then back here we've got um, another bandsaw, my office, and some more welding stations. So, honestly, I don't think you'll find a better equipped uh, welding lab this side of the Mississippi. We're, uh, we're really spoiled with the quality and the quantity of machinery we have. Um, it's very important to us that you folks get to work with the tools that you're going to work with in industry um, because that's ultimately what we're trying to get you ready for is go out and get a job. So um, as always, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, you can email me. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you've got. And uh, thanks. Have a great day.